Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a video that I originally shared over on the WoW embossing page and I hope that you enjoy it. Today I'm sharing a super quick and easy way to add a touch of sparkle to your designs with absolutely no heat needed. Now this is a fun technique for absolutely anyone but it's a great one to try with any of those mini crafters that you might know. I'm going to be stamping a sentiment but I want to make sure that it's in the right place so I've decided to get my washi tape on there first. I have this gorgeous rainbow washi which is just perfect for the sentiment that I'm using so I'm adding two diagonal stripes in the upper left hand corner. When I'm adding anything right up to the edge like this I like to have a little extra that I can fold over and then secure it from the back. This way it can't lift at the edges and come away. Now that my tape is in place, I'm popping my panel back into my Misty stamping tool. This will help me plan where I want to stamp and it also allows me to stamp more than once if I aren't happy with the transfer the first time. My sentiment is from Erin Lee Creative's latest card making kit. It's actually a whole Swifty themed goodie kit and it, to be honest it's just pretty perfect for me. <laughs> I'm inking up with VersaFine on its black for a really crisp dark transfer. Now I let that dry for a little bit. Um, if you're in a rush you could actually hit it with setting one on your dual speed heat tool um, but I just left mine to dry. Now I'm selecting a rainbow of markers because I'm going to colour the white space of my sentiment. I'm just using one shade of each colour and I aren't doing any fancy blending. I'm just colouring each letter in a different rainbow colour. In case you couldn't tell, I do love a good rainbow. Now, the sentiment reads, you need to calm down, which is a song from Taylor Swift. And if you know it, you'll totally get why my mind went to rainbow here. Now, I'm grabbing out my not so secret tool. This is a glue pen, but it's a biro style and it writes like a really good gel pen. So it's an awesome way to add doodling, writing, scribbling, dotting and any other mark making that your heart desires. I'm adding some dots to the little white sparks that the stamp leaves and I'm just adding some highlights onto my coloured letters. So those were the planned additions but I suddenly had the idea to add a line above each strip of washi. So I'm just working really slowly. I put my nib right against the lip of the washi and I'm just working across leaving a thin line. I did leave it to dry just for a few seconds so that it wasn't too wet but was still plenty tacky for the next step. I'm going to add some scrap paper underneath my panel and get out my new favourite, sparkling sugar. This is one of our sparkles and in case you aren't familiar with our sparkles range, these are just straight glitter so there's no embossing powder in these ones, you don't need to heat them. I'm tipping it over the areas that I've put my glue and then tapping off any excess onto the scrap paper beneath. From here I can funnel all of that excess back into the jar to use on another project. I love how this turned out but I think I'm even more excited by the possibilities of this. It, you could add sparkle to absolutely anything and I really hope that you have fun playing with this technique. I know that I will. <laughs> Let me know what ideas you have for using this in the comments below and don't forget to tag us in your beautiful creations. If you aren't already then please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.